Every year, USD Leap Med lets 500 students take their entrance exam. 220 pass. Those 220 take an interview until finally 90 students. Do you want to be part of the 90 this year? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Arlo. I took the Leap Med entrance exam and interview back in March 2022. I passed the exam but not the interview, which is why I'm making this video so you can increase your chances of getting in. I've also noticed there's a clear lack of tutorials on how to prepare for the USD Leap Med. So it'd be great if this is what you've been looking for. Before we start, I highly suggest you watch this video right here that explains what USD Leap Med is and all that you need to know about it. All right, step one, know if medicine is right for you. You need to know if medicine is right for you because studying for USD Leap Med isn't easy. If you're not sure you want to take the Leap Med, then it'll be better use of your time to do something else like joining an org or discovering your other interests while you're still in grade 11 or grade 12. I'm not saying it's impossible to do all those things at once. There are a lot of people who are able to study and prepare and get in. I personally have studied at least an hour every day for six months while still being able to juggle schoolwork, orgs, and self-care such as exercise. The real question is, are you up for the challenge? Even if I studied every day for six months, there were still a lot of questions that I didn't know the answers to. And this just means that the actual course is way harder than I'll ever know. So you're going to have to find information elsewhere. I highly suggest you watch YouTubers such as Kane, Kizzy Bernandos, and myself. I'm just kidding. But I have videos on how to apply, how to prepare, and similar videos such as this one. So you should check it out after this video. The second thing that you need to know is, what do you like about being a doctor? What do you not like? What are your realistic goals and expectations? Know a specific timeline, such as how many years it takes to get me a doctor, how many years your residency will be, and how many years you'll be able to pay back your student loans. If you're not aware of this, then now is the best time too, so that you don't get surprised in the future. This exercise is also good in knowing if being a doctor aligns with your purpose and your goals in life. Because if it is, then you should go. If it's not, then you shouldn't. For example, do you like having your whole life plan laid out on you, such as you trying to be a, trying, you not being able to have a good salary until maybe 30 or around 40? You need to know all the pros and cons before you push through with preparing to be a doctor. The third thing you should know is if you are currently 110% sure that you want to be a doctor. Because there are other alternatives such as taking a pre-med. Especially in the Philippines, you don't have to take a science-related course to apply for med school. You could use these extra two years and extra time to figure out your other interests and goals. That way, you'll be more sure if you want to take medicine or you want to drop it. Now, after you've done these three exercises and probably journaled it on paper, you'll, you'll have an answer of whether or not you want to pursue lead med. So I suggest you pause right now, reflect, and continue watching this video only after you have the answer of whether or not you want to take USD lead med. If it turns out that you do, then the rest of the video is for you. Step two is how to study for the exam. So I bought this online reviewer from Leap med Reviews and I finished it. I converted the lessons into Anki flashcards so I could use active recall and spaced repetition. While the reviewers were very helpful, the actual exam questions were far from what I've studied. My expectations, based on information from Reddit and Twitter, uh, was that around 60% would be anatomy and physiology, while the rest would be the other many subjects, such as chemistry, physics, botany, and zoology. In reality, it was around 30% anatomy, 35% chemistry, and 35% physics. Botany and zoology, which I studied the most, weren't even there. The good news is that chemistry and physics from the test that I took were coverage of high school level questions. So as long as you've been paying attention in class, doing your homework, and reviewing from time to time, you'll be fine. Of course, this doesn't stop you from learning more, and I still recommend you purchase the online reviewer from the link in the description. You can also use the Anki decks that I've made, as it will save you a lot of time from making them. Again, link in the description, they're completely free. Just remember to download the Anki desktop app on Chrome. Step 3. Prepare for the interview. I have sample questions that you can prepare for. Link in the description. I had to pay for these. You're getting it for free. I don't know if that's a crime. I hope not. But the main questions that you need to prepare for is are why do you want to be a doctor? Why did you pick USD? And talk about a time where you were stressed and under immense pressure. And what did you do to resolve it? And you can't say this interview because <laughs> don't say that. So my number one mistake in this interview, which probably cost me from not passing, was I dragged on my answers. I made long stories that lasted five minutes. There were times where I spoke for five minutes without stopping. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. So it made me look cocky. It bored my interviewers. And it we ended up with less time to answer other questions because the interview would last around 20 minutes long. 
I only had to be, I was only asked around four to five questions because we didn't have that much time because I was blabbering and blabbering on about. So what should you do instead is answer concisely with straightforward examples. You can say I am hardworking because I did this, this, and this. Maximum three sentences. Three to four sentences. There are a lot of video tutorials on YouTube, so I highly recommend that you watch these so that you can mimic the style and the formalities of it. You don't need to expound on your answers unless they ask you to. So just remember to keep it straightforward and concise. Make sure your answer is aligned with being a doctor. Do not sound over the top like I did about like wanting to be the head of the Department of Health because that's not what they're looking for. They're looking for US development applicants students who want to prepare for medicine and just you know be a normal doctor so when you don't also make your answers irrelevant for medicine don't say you want to take medicine so you can start a business or so that maybe you want to own a hospital fit the stereotype as much as you can even though maybe you'd have those desires of wanting to be a department of health head leader you don't have to say that if you like this video you love this custom playlist i made for you it has the most popular videos about how to prepare for us delete med and I've also received several text messages saying that it's helped them and they can't wait to practice and learn the Anki reviews. So I hope that by watching those videos, you end up getting your MD in six years. That would be amazing. Thanks for watching and see you later.